So, boy to girl and girl to girl, it's a kiss, like that. But boy to boy, if you are friends, it's handshake. And with your family members, boy to boy, it's also kiss. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Metien Vlogs. This is Metrin from Kenya. I'm Adrian from France. And we are a long distance couple. We are now married for two months since March. Today's topic is cultural differences between Kenya and France. And uh, we are sharing this because if there's anyone who wants to come to France, there are very many things that are done differences differently here from Kenya. And if there are any French people moving to Kenya, there's also very many things that are done differently. And also we hope that Kenyans and the French people can learn from each other in terms of culture so that we borrow the good things and we kick away or throw away the things that are not really um, advantageous to us. Yes. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you stick to the end and watch because we have a new feature that is called Metien Takeaway where we give you some tips or advice that, you, that can make your life better or your relationship better. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. Okay, so the first um, cultural difference that we've noticed is greetings. Of course, you know greetings is like the first thing you do to someone when you meet. Here in France, how do people greet each other? We have to... Hello. So, boy to girl and girl to girl, it's a kiss, like that. But boy to boy, if you are friend, it's handshake. And with your family members, boy to boy, it's also kiss. Like uh, son and father, kiss. Mm -hmm. Brother, brother, kiss. Yeah. Yes. And uh, how about friends like your colleagues? So my colleague is, if we are like close friends, we kiss. And the other thing that I notice is some French they kiss with making that sound of mwah, mwah, but Yes, yes. Some... It depends on the regions. Mm -hmm. It's not everywhere in France. Mm -hmm. So like here in south of France, mm -hmm. it's, the song is... <laughs> but in the north, it's just flat. Without you just do this, yeah, kind of kissing. Did it. yeah. That was actually my hardest part to adjust. Like, I always I used to practice actually with Adrian. I used to practice. I was like, when visitors are coming and they are close, I'm like, oh my god, let's practice because for me, I just find it weird. Maybe I used to find it weird making that sound, you know. And for him, it was so normal. And by the way, if people make that sound or you don't make that sound, it seems like you're cold, yeah, you are cold, you know. So for me, I was like, ah. I have to learn to make that sound. I'm like, is it even coming out the right way? You know, yeah. So that is the first cultural difference. Greetings. And in, up in Kenya? In Kenya, it's simple. Usually you greet people. Just respect, like if you are not close, uh, we like you're just meeting boss or whoever, stranger, you greet. If it's your family, like your close family and you've been away, or friend, and you've been away for a long time, we hug. Like we hug and hug. Yeah, so you can hug both sides or you can hug one side, it doesn't uh -huh. matter, but there's no bizu bizu. Although they're like those close girlfriends who just like uh, improvised it and they kiss each other the cheeks. So it doesn't matter, you can hug like by short, like hug sure. body or uh -huh. hug like uh, face to face. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's the first cultural difference. The second cultural difference you've noticed is um, home visits. Like in Kenya, when people visit us, let me speak about Kenya. When people visit us, I mean, you welcome them into the house, most of the time into the sitting room. Or if it's uh, in the upcountry, outside, if the sun is out, then you give them chairs and you give them food, usually. Um, how is it in France? Yeah, in France, the first visit of a member, family member or friends, mm -hmm. we tour the house, like we visit uh, each place, each room of uh, our house. Yeah, like they take you, okay, they show you this is the bedroom, yeah, this the is room. the toilet, this is the kitchen. 
sitting room yeah um, balcony balcony <laughs> garden <laughs> Me, I find it very weird. Like, why are you showing visitors your house? And to me, you know, when I just find, when I came and then we visited a friend and then they were showing us the house, I was so afraid to go into the bedroom because of that respect of its bedroom, its private space. But then Eden was telling me, come, like, come, let's visit the house, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's um, one cultural difference as well. So, um, the type, the, the fourth thing that I've learned at, in terms of differences is independence and uh, community initiatives. This is especially to do with them um, coming together. And this, this is where Kenya, I think, is good compared mm -hmm. to France. Yeah. In Kenya, we come together. When you're having a wedding, I'm telling you, people will come together, give you um, money, contribute money. When you're having a funeral, when you're having a little baby shower and all those things, usually groups will just pop up and people will contribute to you. In France, yes. it's different. Yes, yeah, it's different. We are more individuals. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, we will, a family, a couple, mm -hmm. will do uh, their wedding alone yeah. without uh, contribution, but mm -hmm. alone with, of course, parents, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not like a community is beyond you. Yeah, and even funerals. Yeah, even funerals, by the way. Yeah. So funeral is like, when someone dies, mm -hmm. this someone has to, to get um, uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. Insurance. Yeah, insurance. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have, it's it's a strong girl for family. It's a struggle. Yeah, so I think that is something that I like it in Kenya. Although sometimes people overdo it in Kenya, truth be told. But I think it's a good thing in terms of you can come together and help people who are not able to. Like for a funeral, imagine someone dies, probably they've been sick, they don't have money to do all those things. Like people will just come up and help you. But here I tell you, you will struggle solo. Hey, at your wedding, you know the way you do a wedding and then you're like 5 million shillings, young people to give you 5 million. You will dig deep into your pocket to get that 5 million if you want to do that wedding. Yeah. So I think we experienced that for a wedding as well. I mean, we were planned. Yeah, we, were, we, we had planned. planned ourselves, this is what we can afford. We're not going to do more than this. We are not going to do less than this because we did everything by ourselves and parents just helped in here and there. And also the fact that people had to travel, you can't strain them. And they are paying so much money already to travel. Yes, yeah. and uh, I have to say a difference between uh, gift in mm -hmm. Kenya oh, yeah. and gift in France. Mm -hmm. When we do a, a wedding, the gift gi uh, given by a French is different mm -hmm. by uh, gift uh, given by a Kenyan. Yeah. So here yeah. we give we give money and checks and check. Yeah. And there in Kenya, just uh, material gift, physical. Most, yeah, most of the time, but not always. Actually, some people also give money, mm -hmm. but usually they. It depends really on the type of the wedding because if you are moving, sometimes people write on the card, "I want only card money only yeah. or whatever only." Yeah. But if you leave it open, most people will give you gifts, like tangible gifts. Actually, we also come together, contribute, give a fridge, like give big gifts. Mm -hmm. For example, give a fridge, a bed, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But here it's only check. Most of the time it's check, check. or money and card. Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, that uh, aspect of differences. Then that brings us into marriage as well, which we've talked about a little bit. But in terms of, um, in Kenya, we have different steps that lead to marriage. You will have, I don't know, ratio, which is dowry, introduction, pre-wedding, mm -hmm. wedding. So there are many things that are done and visits that are done before you get to the wedding. But how is it in France? Yeah, it's simple. Mm -hmm. You ask the girl and, of course, the parent to the girl and uh, you can go ahead for wedding. So it's no simply a proposal. Yeah, simply a proposal. No need to to have many, many, many meetings. <laughs> How did you find the many meetings? No, but me it was different. Mm -hmm. I had the diary, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, that's all. Yeah, but how was it? Because it was something new. Like yeah, what you it was something new. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was a friend. Was it frustrating, like to, to get the time, to get the money? Yeah, to create the time, so it's like uh, I'm wasting time, yeah. and of course I gonna 
uh, married this girl. Married this girl. Yeah. Yeah. So mm, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm glad you did it because for me, I I prefer the Kenyan way. The fact that you know you have all these things after the after at the end of it, you take marriage seriously. You know, you're like I've gone through all these steps. First, it's enjoyable, you yeah. know, having all these things. Second, it's like you take it seriously. You spend so much time and so much money on it, you don't want to joke around. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Yes, but of course it's good that there are really many meetings between mm -hmm. uh, the, the families. Yeah. So it's like uh, we can create through these meetings in mm -hmm. Kenya, yeah. uh, links and yeah. more relationship between uh, the two families. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's French. <laughs> yeah, so that's in terms of marriage. The other thing that we've noticed, and it's very common, is the food culture. The food culture in Kenya, I don't know how to put it. It really depends if it's like we have visitor, visitors or it's just a normal like day. But I would say in Kenya, really, the normal Kenyan meal or the normal day is you'll have your breakfast or you'll have your lunch or you'll have your dinner and then maybe you'll have a fruit after. But and then uh, maybe drink water. You, you mean the what uh, do you eat mm -hmm. for the day during the day? Yeah, so, what do you eat and how many? Like, what is the arrangement of the meal? Uh, the arrangement. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So, so here in Kenya, in Kenya, we just have the meal itself. Nothing yeah. like I don't know appetizer. You just have the meal itself, and then you sometimes you have a fruit after as a dessert, and then you drink water or something. But here in France, usually it's appetizer yeah. the main meal yeah. then the dessert yes. so the appetizer is things like it's nuts, nuts or crepes i don't crepes. know samosa yeah samosa bouchon mm -hmm. but this one this appetizer it's like for a special day like mm -hmm. on weekends mm -hmm. we do that or if you have visitors yeah if you have visitors. Yeah, and then you have the main meal, which main is like meal, rice or rice, pasta. Meat, mm -hmm. uh, meat, or pasta, or pizza. Yeah. Uh, Different types of food. And then after that, you have dessert. Yeah, like cake or fruit salad. Or ice cream. Or ice cream. Yeah. So, like, the, the, the dessert part is like here people eat cake as dessert. For me, that is very different because in Kenya, usually, rarely you eat cake after the meal. Like, mostly we eat cake as a breakfast with tea and cake or uh, or as a snack in the middle of the day, like cake and soda or something. Mm -hmm. Or, like, for birthday or as a, you will only eat it after the meal when it's like a celebration, a birthday or a baby shower or a wedding. Like, you'll eat it after the main meal mm. but not uh, normal diet uh -huh. yeah so yeah so that's the difference and also the other thing is um here beans are very special i don't know in kenya maybe in the kikuyu culture we have a type of beans mm. that is special i've uh, forgotten the name but it's a special type of beans and it's like when you're going for visiting or visitors or weddings you'll have it i've forgotten really the oh. name but my kikuyu friends you can write below and tell us the name of that beans but generally, like in Luya or whatever, beans is not special to me to say the truth. Beans is, um, we have chicken is special, you know. But here in France, where beans is special, and in reunion, like if yeah, it's a, a special reunion, visitor, yeah, because beans were with rice, mm -hmm. beans, no, but beans. like if a visitor, like someone who is a visitor, a special visitor comes, you give them beans, meaning it's special, you know, like when I went to. To visit auntie in Paris, yes. and then they gave those beans. Like every time I go somewhere, there's always beans, and it's a special meal because you cook it with sausage. I don't know with what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I think that's the difference. In Kenya, it's not really a special meal apart from this particular one by the Kikuyu. Yeah. So food culture is also a big difference. The next thing is family, family arrangement. Like here, I like the French way in this particular case. Here there's nothing like the male does this and the female does that. Uh, yeah. In the house, the duties. You, yeah, the duties. He cooks, I wash the house. He washes the house, I do utensils. He does laundry, I, you know, that's, there's nothing like this is for the woman and this is for the man. Yeah. And I, for me, I really like it because even bills, like you share bills. He pays this if I'm able to, I pay this, you know. In Kenya, maybe modern cultures, are like that mm -hmm. but traditionally it was the kitchen is for the woman 
you cook, you clean the house, you do laundry for your husband and blah blah blah. The husband maybe provides and once in a while he would help you, but it also depends on this on the guy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so for me I prefer the French way. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> you prefer the French way? Yeah, I prefer the French way. I don't like stay like sitting and waiting for the uh, supper, for example. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. help. Yeah. I want to prepare. Mm -hmm. I want to help my wife. Mm -hmm. So, but imagine, just imagine, mm -hmm. one day your your wife gets sick, mm -hmm. very sick, seriously sick, mm -hmm. and you you can't cook. You don't know how to cook. <laughs> so how to deal if you don't learn now? Mm -hmm. Imagine after when she she will be sick. Yeah, it will be a problem. Yes. Yeah, and also just the fact that how do you sit there and someone is doing everything for you? You know, for me it feels like I, you know, yeah. I, anyway. Yeah, so that's different. But also, women are proud of doing that in Kenya. Also, sometimes it's a little bit, it's a little bit a, a, a change for me also because I'm used to it. Like when I was with my dad, I always have to go to the, to the kitchen, so it's normal. So when I'm here, I'm like. I look in the kitchen, Adrian is in the kitchen, I try to do this, Adrian is doing this. So for me, at first it was like a competition, like, okay, so who's doing this, who's doing that? But with time, I got used to it and I saw, okay, his culture is different, so we have to fit in. He does things like this, I do things like this, so maybe we divide the duties or we work together in most cases. Yeah, most cases we work together. Yeah. Uh, so um, the next difference, which is second last, is religion. And the religion is interesting for me because in Kenya, religion has so much power. It, it, which is a good thing and which is also a bad thing in some aspects. But for me, because I'm religious, I feel like it's a good thing. Because sometimes people, you're, you're guided by the religion, you know. You know this is bad to do, this is, is good to do this. Here in France, religion is like, it's behind. It's like a, um, uh, the government has more power. Politics and the government has more power. Mm -hmm. So if it comes to making decisions for the country, religion has no say to make decisions. Yeah, true. If it comes to marriage, like you're getting married, religion has no say. You only go to church as, a, as an option. Yeah. But you can never have a, a valid certificate in church that you know you sign the certificate and then it's 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 um, it proved it's legally. powerful legally yeah. no. It's no 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 not here yeah it's always the government yes. so you will do first the government and then after that you can go to church so for me I feel like people don't even go to church here most of the time or go to the mosque it's just a personal decision you make you know most people are strongly atheists and stuff like that but um, yeah it's also good in terms of people are open minded you. You, you accommodate everyone, you're not judgmental, I can't marry you because you're Muslim or because you're Christian, I can't mingle with this, because sometimes there's some 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 sorts of things in Kenya where people are like too, like they're brainwashed, yeah. you're like, my religion says I have to do this, I have to do this, I cannot mingle with, I cannot work with, which is bad in that aspect. Yeah, right. so there's that religious difference, yeah. You are saying something? No, no. No, okay. Yeah, so last but not least on our list of differences is humility. And this one for me, I like the, the French way of humility. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you have a, maybe you really don't know this, but I find that here people are very humble. I'm telling you, the richest people, you don't even know they are rich. You walk with them on the streets, you ride the bicycle, they say bonjour to you. They, you know, it's, there's not, they are very humble. Yeah. In Kenya, my friends, it's not everyone, sorry, I'm not speaking for everyone, but like generally, some people who are rich, you will know that they are rich. You know, they will not, they cannot ride a bicycle or they cannot walk in, in a certain way, you know, they cannot mingle with certain people, you know. People, someone will make sure you know that I am driving this type of car, you know, what are you telling me, I'm rich, stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, sometimes, some people. Um, but here, really, by the way, it's, you'll be very shocked you're working with someone and they're helping you and they're giving you stories and my God, they're entering into a slick car, you're like, oh, damn, go, go, you drive this car, mm? Yeah, so I think, um, I, I find, I really like the fact that people here are very humble and so you don't have these differences in community. Really, by the way, I don't even notice the thing of estates like uh, when you go to Kenya, 
there's runda, there's loving tone, there's this big SS. Of course, I think they're also here. Yeah, there he is, but not so much. Not so much. Yeah, not so much. Because we have some uh, area where I live, the, not poor people, but uh, the low part mm -hmm. of uh, people. Mm -hmm. But like when you go to social events and everything you socialize, like yes. usually there's nothing like um, this is Eastlands and this is Westlands and we are no. from here, you no. know, there's nothing like that. Actually you cannot even tell when you walk out in the street that this one is coming from I don't know where. Yeah, so I think this is something that I have, I have learned and I think Kenyans should learn, like really doesn't matter where someone comes from which school they went to and everything you're just all human beings the thing that matters is what is inside you yes how you carry yourself and how you treat people and that is what is important yeah, yeah. so thank you very much guys for joining us i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up comment down below and let us know uh, your thoughts about this and if you have any other topic that you want us to talk about just comment it down below and we'll be ready to make videos for you Thank you very much. Up next is the Metier Takeaway. Thank you. Thank you. See you.